Hi, this is a quick run through of the components of the PDQ Power Trike. It's a electric wheelchair attachment that fits the front of a wheelchair, enabling it to go all faster. Well, we'll deal with the connection first. This is a uh, team hybrid uh, connection tube, and basically this bolts underneath the frame of a rigid wheelchair or a fixed frame wheelchair. The pin here slides into this slot and this locking arm which is sprung loaded if I can just do it as you can see that bounces up and down to release. To help guide it into place there's a cone on the end of the trike and that is, you can see, quite a, quite a good fit but it slides in easily because there's a plastic liner in there. Right, next along the line we have this spring here. Now what this spring does is it keeps the front wheel in a straight line and when you're turning it provides resistance. Uh, there is an adjuster there, so you can adjust the amount of resistance that uh, that is being applied, but that is a necessary piece. If the front end is light, then you could get yourselves in all sorts of trouble very quickly, even with the uh, very low speed hub motor that you have here. Now coming to the hub motor, you'll see we have torque arms on the forks. Now the forks are steel, but uh, but yeah, even though this is a, a fairly low power motor, um, it uh, they've still put torque arms on it, which is a good idea, really. The braking system is a twin V brake, operated by cable. Nothing fancy, but more than adequate. The braking levers, one of them has this lead on here which is the cutout which goes down to the controller so basically what happens is when you apply the brake the motor cuts out the other V brake however doesn't so yeah when you're braking these you do brake using both levers um, and you try and brake fairly evenly I might as well cover the bell because that is almost a joke within itself um, yeah, just a simple metal bell, get yourself a little, little electric horn, far better. The, uh, the throttle on these is a three wire throttle and what can I say? They work. Now this is a, uh, not even a, a half twist, so, but yeah, that will be being changed on this one for sure. Right, this component here is quite simply allows you to turn the handlebars for transportation. And then when you get to your destination, line them up, move that up. Well, I'll configure, I'll, it's not set up properly, but it will come right the way around. Um, and that locks the handlebars in place. So you don't want those flapping about. Right, the controller is a scientific generics. It's a uh, very old type. Uh, basically, on one side, you have an on-off. And so that's off. You can pull the key out. On, you can't. And then when you come around to this side, use the same key. And this is to select one of two speeds. So you've got a low speed option and a high speed option. Um, obviously, high speed is relative to uh, the power of the hub motor and the batteries. So you select your speed, then swap the key over to the other side and turn it on. Right. The battery holder, this uses field lead acid batteries. The battery holder is not quite 
in line with the center line of the, uh, of the hub. This means you take weight off the front wheel, which, to be perfectly honest, the more weight you have on the front wheel, the better, because it helps with traction. So if you're going up, a, say, a cobble street or something, for example, or something slightly more slippy, then, uh, yeah, you don't want to find yourself just sitting there and spinning. But, uh, but it is what it is. Now, ideally, obviously, it would be better if the weight was lower, but the, uh, the limitations of the design prohibit that. Now, one of my other battery, or one of my other videos, um, I do cover the, uh, the configuration of the batteries and what type of batteries they use. Um, but, uh, but basically, they plug in just using a kettle lead. So, yeah, that's nice and easy. 36, uh, 36, amp, uh, 36 volt, sorry, 36, uh, 36 amp would be nice. 36 volt, and uh, yeah, they'll get you from A to B, as long as A to B isn't too far apart. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to, uh, to ask. And uh, yeah, if this has been helpful, then please like the video. If you don't, then don't. Have fun. Take care. This is Mobility Adventures at the end of another video. Bye.